In the previous video of this series, you learned how to specify parameters for the channel and the eye source. Now in this video, you'll learn how to set up and run QuickEye and Verify Analyses for the simple channel and create an eye diagram, bathtub curve, and contour plot. On the Project Manager window, right-click the Analysis folder and select Add Nexim Solution Setup, Verify Statistical Eye Analysis from the shortcut menu. Accept the default settings and click OK. Now, right click Analysis, Add Nexim Solution Setup, and select Quick Eye Analysis. The Peak Distortion Analysis option calculates the worst case bit pattern for intersymbol interference and repeats that instead of the bit pattern you define. So just accept the default settings and click OK. If you have a graphics processing unit, or GPU, you can take advantage of it to speed up simulation, eye rendering, or both. Bring up the HPC and Analysis dialog by selecting the option on the menu bar. Or go to Tools, Options, HPC and Analysis options. The Design Type option defaults to the active design in your project. Select the Options tab. Set the Enable GPU for I analysis value to True. The design is now ready to analyze. Right-click Analysis and select Analyze from the shortcut menu. The simulation is fast and runs to completion. To create a bathtub curve, right-click Results and select Create Standard Report Rectangular Plot. Ensure that the default settings are Verify Analysis for the Solution Type, UI for the Domain, and Bathtub for the Category, as shown. Click New Report to generate the bathtub curve. The curve indicates a high-quality signal. To generate the Verify Contour Plot, right-click Results, Create Standard Report, Rectangular Contour Plot. Retain Verify Analysis as the solution and UI as the domain. Click New Report to generate the contour plot. The report window opens with the graph of the bit error rate as a contour diagram, the top-down view of the bathtub curve. Rename the plot to VE Contour. Also rename the bathtub curve. Now to display the results of the quick eye analysis of the channel as an eye diagram, right-click Results. Create Eye Diagram Report, Rectangular Plot. Accept Quick Eye Analysis as the solution and Time as the domain. Ensure that the unit interval is set to the same as the eye source. Click New Report and close the dialog to view the eye diagram of the Quick Eye data. Now set up the histogram to show the distribution of the crossing points in the eye diagram. Double click the crossing point to open the Properties window. Change the histogram color. Click the Histograms tab and check the boxes Show Histogram and Line Normalization. The option Show Histogram makes the histogram visible, and the option Line Normalization enlarges it. The histograms show the distribution of the crossing points of the rising and falling edges. In this case, the histogram indicates a clean signal. Go to the Windows menu and select Tile Horizontally to arrange the open windows of the design and plots in a side-to-side -side sequence. Rename the eye diagram. On the Project Manager window, Select Circuit 2 to display the variables in the Properties window. Using variables makes it easy to change the assigned parameter values. You can also change the units easily. 
This concludes part 3 of this video series. In part 4 you will see how different types of jitter impact the channel performance. Thank <music> you.